Yo, Pressure Man here. Tradell Jones, aka Pressure Man. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all newbies out there that are not familiar with the 12 volt pumps. I use the Everflow. That's what I started off with using. 5.5 uh, gallon per minute. 60 PSI. I know a lot of you all uh, out there that actually still do use the 12 volt since the gas roof pump has come out. A lot of people have switched over, which is cool. These are still good to have in your arsenal. All right. Reliable pump. Your gas roof pump goes down uh, for whatever reason. I hope not. Because I really want everybody to, to remain out there killing it. Okay? I love this industry, man. And if you are a true washer, we are brothers in arms, man. So, knowledge is powerful. So, you newbies out there, if you wanted to uh, plumb this thing up, uh, I'm going to show you how to get started with implementing your hose bars that's what you need a lot of people they don't even make it out of the first step with this because they're like well how do i connect the uh you know the hoses to the to the pump like i had the same questions man i used to be like man how in the heck did they and i couldn't find the answers for a long time man now the answers are everywhere so i'm gonna make a video too because this is my way to give back I can't get this stupid bag open, so I'm just I'm gonna just rip it open. Uh, look at this. Okay, simple as that. But I got these stupid gloves on. That one kind of opened for me a little bit, but it's because I got these gloves. The reason why I got these gloves is because I use True Blue when it comes to everything that I have to plumb up plastic with plastic i hate true blue when it gets on your hands uh it's a true mess is what it is if you're not dealing with it properly and it's so sticky and it stays on my hands for days i don't like it because i you know i eat with my hands all the time right and i just do not like this stuff on my hands so if you're out there barehanding true blue man you are a soldier bro I, I mean, I, I just did. I don't even like the taste. Uh, don't eat it, please. Get it off your fingers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start twisting this cap around, get it started, and then you can just kind of twist the rest out like this. All right. When I try to snatch them out, doesn't really go right, so I kind of because I don't have my try not to mess this thing up. I try to pinch only the red cap that way I can pull them out. Now understand that they will have some water in it, all right, because they test these pumps before they send them out. What a great company to test shoot pumps before they send them to you all right uh sometimes you'll get a faulty one every blue moon but not really man these pumps are really really dependable so this is how i plumb mine i take my uh half inch by half inch hose bar i get these this made everbelt makes them i i get these from home depot or lowe's or whatever you can put banjo you can go a little more expensive uh when i say a little more expensive for the hose barbs i'm talking about a few pennies a, do a few dollars maybe a dollar or two more the these are fairly cheap they work really great uh so what i do is i i teflon tape the threads okay and these are half inch uh by half inch all right the hose barb is half inch 
and uh, it fits perfectly into your your uh, 12 volt pumps uh, your ever flows they're half inch threaded and then the barb is half inch and it's gonna fit perfectly with and I like to wrap these right nicely nicely wrapped a few times I, I give it a good seven or eight turns because this is going to have your Kim's going to be coming through this thing so I like to get it nice and wrapped up you see that mummified I like to wrap that thing up and then what I do you guys I don't know if you all out here do this but after I wrap mine I put a little true blue carefully 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 on the on the teflon paper like so okay you don't have to go crazy but i got i got it gunked up there like that okay and then and then i go ahead and i and i and i uh put the fitting on all right okay just like so let me get some napkin Get some napkins ready. So this is what I do. And uh, I'm going to tighten this up like so. What's going to happen is I believe that this is going to give it a double seal of approval. Okay. I've done it this way. I think I did it like this by accident. When I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, don't worry about that cord. I'm going to cut that anyway. So, and, I, and I'm going to show you all how to uh, hook up the electricity to this thing. And uh, wire everything up. So I, I think what happened was when I first hooked this thing up, I thought that you were supposed to Teflon and True Blue. And it was like one of those dummy mistakes that actually worked out well enough for me to just continue to keep doing that because what I noticed was that this thing and I get it all the way on there y'all nice and snug right and this has worked for me man I've never had a problem with uh, these pumps uh, the pump that I have now is still running good, but I like to have backups. Okay, I have another video talking about how important it is to have your backups ready, especially in the field. That way you can change things out and stuff like that. So the pump I have now, I noticed a slight drop in the PSI. So to me, what that means is that that's one of the first indications that the pump's life is now starting to change, right? Who knows how long? It could be next week. It could last another four months. But the key is to always be ready, all right? Because I believe that if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, all right? So we're going to do the other side right here, too and have it plumbed have it plumbed and ready man ready to go because one one thing you don't want to be in in this in this industry one thing that you don't want to be is not ready okay because that job calls that that commercial account found finally, finally hit you up you know that roof job finally fell through whatever man and they call you and you're not ready guess what somebody like me that is ready we, I'm gonna go eat I ain't gonna think twice about it man you feel me cause like I got food to put on the table for my kids just like you the difference is I'm gonna stay ready homie Best believe that 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 go that go <laughs> that go for the ladies and the gents, man. I don't care nothing about it. You in this business, 
it's all fun and games, man. Like I'm I'm gonna share knowledge and everything. You feel me? I'm not gonna undercut nobody. I'm not gonna do any 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 crazy stuff to anybody. I ain't gonna trash talk your business. I ain't gonna put you out there. None of that stuff. But one thing I am gonna do is answer the call. They call me. I'm coming. I'm going out there, bro. What you mean? I don't care. They say, oh, we, we had contact with another company, but you know they they say they they say they their equipment weren't ready. <laughs> Ooh, well, we stay ready over here. Pressure man, stay ready. It's been a couple times. Well, I've gotten the call to come do some work. They say, hey, we hit another company up in the local area. You know, we don't want you to be offended, but you wasn't our first choice. Man, that don't matter to me. I don't care who your first choice was. Only thing that matters to me is, 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 is where the money coming. It's coming to me? Oh, yeah. Who the first choice was? Don't matter. Don't nobody remember who came in second place. <laughs> don't nobody remember that. Oh, we got bills, kid. So we out here. We working. And this is what we doing. And I care enough about y'all. To show y'all this, this how I plumb up my 12 volt. Okay, this how I plumb it up. Just like that. Do this like this here. What I should have did to the first one. I ain't saying playing with it too long. Wait. Okay, now mind y'all these. This just plastic, so you ain't got to you ain't got to use all your donkey arm strength. It's just plastic, so you get it in a nice and snug, nothing crazy, just like so. Now don't be afraid of the true blue. You put it right down on the what's it called? It ain't gonna get inside the pump. We get another napkin, so you ain't got to worry about that. And uh. What I like to do is I like to I like to plumb these up. They'll be sitting around my house for a week, two weeks, maybe even a month. But the thing is, is like I said, it's ready. Okay? And it's been sitting around that long. This true glue don't take too long to dry. Alright, look at that. I can't stand this stuff. Come on. That's alright. As long as it ain't on my fingers. Alright, and that's it, man. That's how you do that right there. So my clear holes, I use the clear uh polyurethane see-through. Cause I like to see what's going on inside of the liquid you know if there's air bubbles if there's something blocking I can see through the holes that's what I'm used to it work works just as good as you your, your carry tech or whatever you call it uh it's a hose man you ain't got to spend a great deal of money on them holes all right we gonna spray that's what we gonna do that's what it's meant for so all right so I use them cheap holes right uh, and I, I plumb them up right here, Boop, just like that. And this pump, man, this pump here gonna fire up every single time, every time without fail. Next, I'll show y'all the toggle switch I use. It's got an LED light in the middle of the of the switch. Pretty cool, so it give you a light indication. And guess what? It's pressure man blue. Yes, it is. So I'll show y'all how to wire this thing up next. And um, yeah, man, to keep things rocking and rolling. So this part here, you're gonna want to clip this this piece off. You don't need this piece. Clip it, pop, pop, the red and the and the black. Clip, clip it right there. Okay. And then order you some 10 gauge. Alright. Order you some 10 gauge wire. Okay, and then you're gonna use these two lines right here without this piece this piece you can throw it in the trash you go wire your 10 gauge positive negative 
Okay, wire that up, and then I'll show y'all what we're gonna do after that. I ain't gonna get into the details because I might lose you. All right, this for y'all newbies out there, man. All right, y'all old heads, y'all already know what it is. Y'all probably done did this 12 gauge, 12 volt, meant to say. Y'all probably done did the 12 volt gain. Now y'all off to the AR45, the AR60, P40, Comet, whatever. How you? Your, uh, oh, that new pump gas root pump out now for y'all newbies, man. You know, to consider one of these days going into the gas root pump. If that's what you want to do, direction you want to go. Uh, it's an Italian pump. I, I forget the name of it. Bertali, Bertilia, something like that. I'll research it. But I'll drop the link, man, where you can find this pump. This You can find it on Amazon, but I, I, I'll help y'all. We while I uh, put the link in there, so all you got to do is watch the video, click the link, go shopping, buy your 12 volt and and your your, your deep cycle marine battery. Even I I even put the link down there with the with I think it's Nyco is what it's called Nyco 10 battery charger. Stuff is really inexpensive, man. You'll spend about 300 bucks on all of this stuff uh when it comes to this not the hose reel and the hose as a whole nother ball ballpark so um but man these, these little pumps i get for about 125 bucks and it'll last me months on end uh i'd say in between nine ten months you should get out of this flushing it out every job uh and uh, taking care of your equipment, so um, you'll make thousands of dollars off off of these little hundred and twenty five dollar pumps straight up. I mean, I've I've made thousands of dollars off the last one, and it's still running. It's, I got a job tomorrow. It's still it's still running, and uh, I'm gonna run it until it burn out, and then I I'll put this one in there. So yeah, man, this the game. This is the game changer. All right. Soft wash, however you can get that liquid out and, and onto the surface. If you want a gas roof, if you want this, whatever it takes, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you a babe in the game, can't go wrong. Get your money up with it. I did.